Hey guys, Vlad here with AVT Astro. So I had a little bit of a request from Matt Esterbrook uh, to do a video on uh, dew prevention. And right now, even though it's a beautiful fall day in the Northwest, it is getting really wet and dewy um, in the evening. So I think this is an appropriate time to do that. Uh, I'm here in my observatory and it's got all of my normal dew uh, prevention equipment that I normally use. So let's take a look. <laughs> All right, so I honestly, I don't use anything too special, too high-tech, too crazy uh, to do a uh, battle with dew, and it works pretty well. First things first, uh, if you have any telescope that does not have a dew shield that's built in, like most APOs will have a dew shield built in, Dobbs you usually do not really need a dew shield for, but if you have any type of SCT compound scope, uh, like this guy, this is my neat 12-inch uh, advanced coma-free, uh, the very, very first thing that you'll want to do is get a dew cap. These guys, they're usually like 50 bucks or less. Um, Brand-wise, I've owned several of them. Like, I think this one's a far point. They all work pretty darn well. Um, yeah, that's the very first step. Uh, not only does it help with dew, it also blocks stray light from hitting that front corrector plate. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, so my other little scope here, the wide field finder scope slash wide field uh, EAA scope that I've got on here, it's actually a uh, TS Optics. Um, as you can see, some of them, like this thing, like it looks like it has a dew shield built in, but it's so short. I mean, it's really nothing. That's why I actually kind of made this thing myself at home. This is just like some of that craft type of foam that I just put a little Velcro on. Um, and I do this a lot for my small scopes, and this works equally well, you know, compared to like, you know, like what the mead has on it. Um, and honestly, you know, for these smaller scopes, you probably couldn't even buy one anyhow, because uh, this is a uh, 60 millimeter little refractor. So yeah, this works perfectly fine, it's, you know, plenty long enough, works great. Um, so that's your first step. So after you have dew caps, if you're still having issues with dew, and if you live in a wet area like the Northwest, like I do, you will have an issue still, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, so what you'll need is these dew straps. So basically, um, let's see, I've got one that's, here we go, kind of tucked in. This is my uh, eyepiece one. So basically they've, you know, they've got like a little bit of Velcro on them and you put them around you know whatever you need and they'll basically just heat uh, the you know either eyepiece or the front of your telescope a little bit and keep it above ambient temperature and then that way it'll uh, help to prevent dew from forming um, so along with the dew straps um, these are available in a bunch of different lengths uh, again a bunch of different brands i've used you know a few different brands uh, they all work you know more or less the same uh, you will also need a uh, dew controller. So this is one that I actually made myself. It was a do-it-yourself project. The case is 3D printed. Uh, there's a couple basically like dimmer type of switches in here. I'll, I'll post a, um, a link to uh, an article that I actually have uh, on my blog about this, um, about you know how to make it and that type of deal. Or you could buy these commercially, they're usually like a hundred bucks or less, so not too bad. And yeah, with running the dew heaters and having the dew caps, I mean, even on the wettest nights here in the northwest, I usually can stay dew free for like the whole night, so that works pretty well. Um, now, as a, a little bit of a bonus for you, if you have a missus that has a uh, hair dryer, those things work amazingly as well. So if you got some dew that formed on your eyepiece, you don't have a dew strip on it, because a lot of times I won't use dew strips on my eyepiece unless I'm using the same eyepiece a lot, because uh, they're annoying to swap out, you know, and then keep on putting the dew strip on and off. You know, you take a hair dryer, you hit it with a little bit of hot air, and then the dew just kind of, you know, goes right away. Um, you know, if if you do, if you do still the missus as a hair dryer and she busts you for it, it's not my fault. I'm just saying. I guess how I know. <laughs> um, but the other thing that you could do is, uh, if you're, um, you know, if you're observing your, especially like your eyepieces, it will probably do up quicker than your objective will. Um, 
you could actually just bring your eye pieces inside for like 30 minutes and usually uh, you know they'll kind of uh, warm up a little bit and you're good to go again so you know hopefully you guys found that helpful um, if you guys have any questions comments or anything like that please do let me know uh, write me a comment uh, section below and I'll see you guys next time